Hey guys, today we'll be walking through how to do an RDL on a Smith machine. Just so you know, RDL is short for Romanian deadlift, and there is a difference between a straight leg deadlift and a Romanian deadlift. There are two different kinds of deadlifts. Let's get started. So before we hop onto the Smith machine, we're going to take a closer look at just form with the pre-weighted barbell. The RDL is an exercise that targets the hamstrings and to do the movement in a way that best isolates the hamstrings, you want to make sure that you're keeping your spine neutral throughout the entire movement. As you can see, my back is never rounding or arched. This helps to minimize strain on your back. One of the best ways to help keep your spine neutral is to inhale right before the rep and contract your core and keep it contracted until you feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Once you get to the point where you can no longer lower the bar without compromising your form, squeeze your glutes and exhale which will automatically push your hips forward and bring you back to starting position. The bar should always be touching the front of your legs and be essentially moving straight up and down with only your hips being pushed back and keeping a slight bend in your knees. Think of it as from the side, you are aligned when you start and then at the bottom of the rep, you're adding a triangle onto the side of the line, but the line always remains there and you are simply moving the barbell straight up and down that line. A few other things I'd like to note. My head moves with my spine. I'm not looking sideways or up, my head looks straight ahead when I start, down when I reach the bottom, and then up again at the end of the rep. My hands are also placed right outside my legs and my feet are a little bit less than shoulder width apart. I also like to make sure that my shoulders are rolled back to help keep my back tight and to make sure I'm not slouching. Let's go over a few RDL mistakes you do not want to make. First, arching your back and not keeping it neutral. Doing this puts extra unnecessary strain on your back. Second, not keeping your head in line with your spine, compromising your neutral spine. We can always check out and hit on our gym crushes after the set, alright? We also want to avoid rounding our backs. Again, it just hurts to look at and is terrible for your back. The bar is also in mid-air and not touching the front of my legs at all times. This is not what we want. I know you're looking at these mistakes, cringing and wondering why anyone would ever do these things, but I'd encourage you to film yourself because you might be surprised that you're one of those people. Practice makes perfect. Alright, that was a ton of stuff, so let's go over it all again. Feet are positioned a little less than shoulder width apart and pointed straight ahead. Hands are positioned right outside my legs. You can choose whatever grip style is most comfortable for you. For RDLs, I like to do an overhand grip. I'm looking straight ahead and shoulders are rolled back. I'm then going to inhale, contract my core, lower the bar down the front of my legs while pushing my hips back, and then when I can't stretch my hamstrings anymore, flex my glutes and exhale to bring myself back to starting position. Again, the bar should always be in contact with the front of your legs and never in midair. The bar is moving up and down and essentially a straight line. My head moves up and down with my spine. As I go into the deadlift, I inhale and contract my core. As I flex my glutes to return back to starting position, I exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Spine remains neutral at all times. There's no need to bring the bar super low, simply bring it down as far as you can without compromising your form. Your arms are simply holding the bar, they are not there to help lift the weight up. Let's move on to the Smith machine. If you're unfamiliar with how to use a Smith machine, I'm going to refer you over to my how to squat on the Smith machine video where we go over how to use a Smith machine. I will be standing on an elevated platform just because even with the safeties at the lowest setting, I don't get enough depth. You may have to play around with your foot positioning in order to get it so the bar is always touching the front of your legs, but once you do, it's the same stuff you were doing earlier except on the Smith machine. Feet a little less than shoulder width apart, hands positioned right outside your legs, shoulders rolled back and looking straight ahead. Inhale, contract your core, lower the bar and push your hips back. When you can't stretch your hamstrings anymore, flex your glutes to push your hips forward and bring your back to starting position and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Remember to keep your spine neutral and bar touching the front of your legs at all times. Your head should move with your spine. One more thing to note. When choosing the rack height to leave the bar on before and after your set, you should choose a height that is just a little bit below the length of your arms so that you can easily unrack and re-rack the bar with little to no effort. And that's it. You now know how to RDL on the Smith machine.
Now that's all that I have for you guys for today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions about how to RDL, make sure to comment them down below. Next week, we'll be going over how to good morning on a Smith machine. So if you don't want to miss that video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss that video. For daily workouts and fitness tips, make sure you like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys all again next week.